Glory to you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Glory to you. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the King of Kings. Glory to the Lord of Lords. I thank you, Lord God. I give you praise. I give you honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the King. Glory to the Lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy and righteous is his name. Hallelujah. He is a worthy, worthy, worthy. Hallelujah. We love the Lord. We love you, Lord God. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. We give you thanks. We give you praise, Lord God. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is none like you, Lord God, in all the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can do nothing without you, Lord God. We need you every day. We need you every hour. We need you every minute every second, Lord God. We cannot do this life without you, Lord God. Lord God, I need you. Morning, noon, and night, I need you always. I know that I cannot live this life. I cannot do this life without you, Father. I lay my life down, Father. I know I am not my own, but I am bought at a price. You bought me and purchased me with your precious blood. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord God, you are great. We thank you for your greatness. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The intricate details of humanity, how you created us to be just like you in so many ways. You have created us in your image. We are your children, and you love us, and we love you, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. We honor you. Thank you for your presence, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you. We honor you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. We give you thanks, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There is none like you in all the earth. Father, Father, Father. Hallelujah. Forgive us of our sins. Cleanse us, Lord God thoroughly cleanse us with hyssop cleanse our inner parts everything that isn't of you lord god take it out of us deliver us cleanse us lord god pour fresh oil in us lord god may we operate with holy ghost fire with love power and a sound mind hallelujah even on today may we look more and more like jesus hallelujah we thank you lord god Hallelujah for keeping us. Guide us, Lord God. Hallelujah. Guide us, Lord God, in the way that we should go. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Your kingdom come in our lives. Your kingdom come in our lives, Father. Your kingdom come on this earth. Your kingdom come in our nation, Lord God. Your kingdom come, Father, all over the world. Hallelujah. Your kingdom come. Your will be done, Lord God. Hallelujah. In us, through us, Lord God. Not our will, but your will be done in our life. Have your way within us, Jesus. Have your way, Lord God, within, hallelujah, mm -hmm. this world. Have your way. Reign, you reign, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, you reign, you reign, you reign. Hallelujah, may we be great chosen vessels of honor. May we be people with integrity and character, the character of God, the integrity of God. May we reflect you, Lord God, in our character and in our integrity. Hallelujah, glory, glory, glory. 
may everything that is not of you be taken out and may people when they see us that they see jesus hallelujah may they see the love of god hallelujah hallelujah and we thank you lord god that we won't be discouraged we won't the word says don't be afraid of men in their faces don't be afraid of people's faces even if people look at us like we're being fake and phony even if they look at us like oh she, this person can't really be nice or this person can't really be this or that because they haven't experienced people showing them kindness or they haven't shown people showing them love hallelujah hallelujah but may we exude the love of christ in all that we do even in our frustrations, may we exude the love of Christ when we're walking here in, when we're coming out, wherever we're going. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord God, help us to be the type of people who forgive quickly. Help us to be the type of people who don't hold on to grudges. Lord God, we give it all to you. Our concerns, our thoughts, our frustrations. We give it over. We we put it, we, we, we lay it at your feet, Lord God. And we ask you, Lord God, to help us, forgive us for holding on to anything. And help us, Lord God, to let it go. Help us not to allow the things that people say and do to us to define us. We are defined by you, Lord God, because we are created in your image. What you say about us is the truth and not what the enemy says, no matter who the enemy uses. If the enemy uses someone who we admired, we will not even allow that to come in. If it's our parents, our mothers, our fathers, people that we would expect to cover us and protect us. Mm -hmm. it's, if, our, if it's our spiritual parents, our spiritual leadership, those pastors and pastor's wives and, and, and those in leadership, ministers, ministers' wives, whomever it is, Lord God, that we admire and have respect for, Lord God, even if they don't see us the way you have described us, Lord God, if they decided to get into their humanity, instead of listening to your voice about who we are, Father, we even forgive them, Father. We release it and we let it go. We even forgive those who listen to the devil and describe us by the words of the enemy. Sometimes maybe they don't realize they're being used by the enemy. And maybe when they do realize it, they don't know how to apologize. Some people you'll never hear an apology from. Some people don't even know how to apologize. Some people are too embarrassed. And then some people, they have certain titles. They're not going to say anything because they're going to want to be right. And they're not going. Some, some people with titles and they're very prideful. And that's the truth. they very prideful and they don't know how to apologize. They don't want to say, oh, I was wrong. Some people don't want to say they were wrong. And you have to even live with that. And so God, even with our hearts, let our hearts not even hold on to those who refuse or do not apologize, don't know how to apologize, however it is. Lord God, and help us as your people not to feel like, okay, someone did something wrong. They need to be accountable. Yeah, I do believe people need to be held accountable for the wrongdoings, Lord God. But you did say vengeance is yours. I do believe there are times we may even have to take some people to court, Lord God. But still at the end of the day, Lord God, we would need you in that courtroom. We still would need you, Lord God, in all aspects, in every area of our life. And Lord God, I do lift up those who are going to the courtrooms, Lord God, and being falsely accused and, and, and negative things are happening, Lord God. We pray for their favor, Father, in the name of Jesus. 
that those who are free will be let go out of the prison system, Father, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord God, that you will bless people from the north, south, east, and west, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, Father, we just thank you. We forgive, I decree and declare that we forgive people quickly and that we are also forgiven and that, hallelujah, we're walking in the abundance of Christ. We have an abundance of love in our hearts. We have abundance of peace in our hearts. I decree and declare that we are not moved by what's happening to us or what's happening around us. We're not moved by how much the enemy yells and screams. We are not moved. We are not stopped. We are not hindered. We do. We keep going forward in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. And we do those things that God has called us to do. We're not distracted. We are not distracted. I decree and declare we're not easily distracted. And I also decree and declare that we're not easily broken. We're not broken easily over what the enemy is saying and doing. It is not getting into our hearts. It is not getting into our souls. It is not getting into our spirits. It is not contaminating us in Jesus' mighty name. All spirits attached to all attacks coming against our life catch by fire in the mighty name of Jesus and go back to the pit of hell where you belong all evil wishes all ill wishes all evil things spoken against our life whether it's by family by friends by strangers by witches and warlocks by whomever is jealous of us people who've hold grudges for decades against us over perceived wrongs sometimes you didn't even do anything wrong sometimes people just have a perception in their head because truly they're the ones who go around doing wrong to other people and so any small offense is something you haven't even did they twist the truth around because they want so bad to make you out to be a horrible person some people lie to themselves so they can feel better about themselves we can't allow any of that to get into our hearts. We forgive them, Lord God, and we release them into your hand. Have your way, Lord God. We thank you. Father, I lift up children everywhere all over the world that little children will be protected, that big children will be protected. Children in school will be protected, Father, by your precious blood. I decree and declare that no weapon formed against the children shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, I decree and declare that humanity wake up from their, their sleep and their wake up from their zombie-like living. And that their eyes are open, their spiritual eyes are open, that they are awakened and that they're not walking around like dead men but that they will see, Lord God, their sins, that they will see how vile they are, and that they will know they need you, Jesus. May this world stop shedding innocent blood. Lord God, we lift up children and bless them, Lord God, and we pray that their destiny be, goes forth in Jesus' name. Everything that you have called and spoken over their life, every trap that the enemy set up against them doesn't work against them. It doesn't stand. And that they will be able to go leaps and bounds and grow forward. These future generations, bless them, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And then I pray over your people, Lord God, those who need physical healing, that you bless them, Father, that you bless those who are sick, bless those, Lord God, who um, who in convalescence, bless those, Lord God, who are bedridden and having different medical conditions, Lord God. I pray for their healing. I pray for them to eat better, Lord God. I pray that they eat foods that heal their body, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, for supernatural healing as well as your people use wisdom and do the natural things it takes. Use natural discipline in order to take care of themselves. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
We thank you, Lord God, for supernatural and natural healing, natural ingredients to take care of their body, self-discipline to exercise and to eat right. We thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless your people with self-discipline. Not just saying, okay, this is my new year resolution, but to actually take care of their temple. The temple that you live in, Lord God. Help us to think of our temple as a physical temple. If we go to church, we go to a temple. Do we want to leave trash in it? Do we leave and have trash thrown all, all over the aisles, all over the pews? Your house is supposed to be a place that is holy. It's holy ground. And it's supposed to be a place of utmost respect because your presence is there and you visit your people there. May that's how we realize our body is. That we need to, to make sure that it is clean from debris and clutter. That we don't have clutter in our spirits, clutter in our, clutter in our souls, clutter in our minds. May we declutter and clean out everything that doesn't belong because we are the house of God and God lives within us. He dwells in us and we dwell in Him. Hallelujah. God is with us. He's in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. Now I decree and declare that we wait upon the Lord and we renew our strength. We mount up with wings as eagles. We run and we are not weary. We walk and we do not faint. We are bound in God's bundle of life. Our cup runs over. We are like watered gardens. Our waters will not fail. We are a green olive tree. Our branches run over the wall. We leap over walls. And I decree and declare there's no enchantments against our lives. There's no divination against our life. Hallelujah. I decree and declare that no monitoring spirits are monitoring us. People are not monitoring us and, and trying to stop, block, and hinder us in the spirit realm. I decree and declare that they have no authority over us. We are children of God. And it doesn't matter what level or, or what spiritual levels they're on. They cannot interfere in our lives. In the name of Jesus, you do not have permission. We stand on our God-given authority that you have no permission over our lives. In the name of Jesus, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. God teaches us to profit. He teaches us to war. He teaches our fingers to fight. He teaches us to profit. He, he shows us the way we should go. We walk in the path of life and we eat from the tree of life. We are children of the most high God. Hallelujah. We eat of the Lord. Hallelujah. We eat from his word. Hallelujah. It says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Thank you, Lord God. You show us the way that we should go. And when we are old, we won't depart from it. We walk in the path of life. Hallelujah. We drink from the wellsprings of life. We are citizens of Zion. We feast on Mount Zion. Hallelujah. We will have songs to sing. We will have new songs to sing. We will have gladness of heart. And we live in God's mountain. We live with the Lord. We dwell in the secret place of the Most High. And we abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him, we will trust. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God, for wisdom, wisdom on our jobs, wisdom in our businesses, wisdom in handling other people, wisdom in handling our, our finances. We thank you, Lord God, for wisdom. Give us wisdom in all areas of our life. Hallelujah. Understanding is our kin. Woman, wisdom is our sister. Understanding is our kinswoman. 
Wisdom makes us happy. It makes our face shine. Wisdom makes us rich. Wisdom extends our life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We walk in wisdom. Hallelujah. Wealth and riches are in our house. God multiplies our seed sown. And we eat the good of the land. We thank you. We see the goodness of the Lord. We see God's goodness in our life. We experience God's goodness in our life. We receive God's goodness in our life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We receive the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We don't have to wait until the by and by. We don't have to have false humility and say, oh, that doesn't, it, even if it's not your priority. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's still a desire. God put those desires. We thank you, Lord God, for the desires that you place in our hearts. And we thank you, Lord God. We thank you that the land will yield its increase to us. We eat the good of the land. We eat from the labor of our hands. The land yields increase to us. Our businesses yields increase to us. Our jobs yields is increase to us. We thank you, Lord God, for favor on the jobs. Favor on the jobs for not just us, Father, but our family, our friends, our loved ones. Our husbands who are having hard times. Our daughters who and sons who are having hard times. Our wives who are having hard times on the jobs. We decree and declare that their jobs yields its increase to them. That they have favor on their jobs. That things will turn around in their favor. And those who have des desired and deserved, Lord God, increase. Financial increase. Pay raises. Bless them with their pay raises, Father, in the name of Jesus. Bless us with pay raises, Father. Bless those with pay raises, Lord God. Pay raises on their job. Pay raises in their businesses. May their business yield an increase in revenue income. May it increase in all areas, Lord God. May businesses increase the purchase of the products increase customers increase clients increase we thank you father bless the businesses that it constantly grows we do not live in the the economy of the world but in the economy of jesus christ in the kingdom of Hallelujah. The heavenly economy. A heavenly economy says that we increase and that we are blessed and that we multiply. That we extend to the left and right to receive more. Blessings overtake us. Blessings shower upon us. Blessings make us rich. We are blessed everywhere. Hallelujah. We are blessed above all people. Our basket and store is blessed. Our hands, our bank accounts is blessed. Our stock is blessed. Our travels are blessed. We are lenders and not borrowers. We are not servants to a lender. I decree and declare, if any of us owe anything, that our debts are paid and we owe no one nothing but to love them. Our hands are blessed. We have the ability to get wealth. We are out there getting our wealth. We are out there more than determination. We know that God is going to increase us. We are going out there. God says that the, what did they say? The, um, we take it by force. We take ours by force. We take it by force. We take our wealth by force. 
We have the strength of ox. We are prosperous people. We have good success. Our riches come from God. Men given to our bosoms. We have the favor of God on our life. We have favor with God and man. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Favor surrounds us. Favor promotes us. Favor is everywhere. We are increasing in favor. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. When there's persecution against our life, when we are being mistreated, misunderstood, when people turn the tables on us, we forgive them because favor surrounds us. Favor promotes us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We won't be moved in Jesus' name. We are unmovable. We are immovable and unstoppable in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're increasing in favor. We drink the milk of kings. Milk flows into our life. Like Jesus said, you know, he was telling Israel, God, God said it to Israel, I will take you to a land flowing with milk and honey. Increase. We increase. Milk and honey, hallelujah, is in our land. We are flowing in milk and honey. We will never be without. Never be without ever again. We will never be without. God is blessing. We will never be out. We thank you, Lord God. We will never be out. We will never be without. We thank you, Lord God. Your hand is on us. We won't allow how other people treat us, other people talk about us, other people turn the table against us. We won't let that define us. We won't allow people who feel that they, because they have a permit, uh, uh, um, they have a, and even if they do, even if rightfully so, that they have positions. We respect the office, but we don't have to take everything in. Just because a person is a leader, we don't have to take everything in if we know God did not say that about us and to us. When we know, sometimes you have to know, I was, you know, it's a southern country like saying, you chew the bone, you know, you, you eat the meat and you spit out the bone. You chew the meat and you spit out the bone. So chewing the meat is those things we know for sure come from God. We take that in. But things that did not come from God, even if it's in leadership, even if it's the pastor, it's, even if it's the pastor's wife, no matter who it is, even if it's the boss on your job, trying to call you stupid or say something mean and evil. Everybody have different types of bosses. It's just I had some mean and cruel bosses. <laughs> and you know, that movie, I remember when that movie came out about horrible bosses, even though that was a joke, some people really have bosses that terrible. It's, it's meant as a comedy joke, but it's meant to be funny, to poke fun of people's real life experiences. Some people are blessed to have great bosses. They can't even fathom or understand. <laughs> I've known people who had nothing but great bosses. And God bless you if that's been your experience. But trust and believe. Everyone's not getting that out there. And so if you have some bad boss who's speaking death over your life, saying something mean and evil, and, and making you feel bad about yourself and your performance... You know, yes, you work as hard and as diligent and do the best that you can. And when you work, you work as you work unto the Lord. But there are some bosses who are just mean and cruel. And if they are like that, if their heart is not right, you do not have to take that in. You do not have to receive that. You don't have to believe it. And you don't have to let it crush your spirit. Jesus. May our spirits not be crushed by people who are in charge over us. 
those who are in leadership, let them not crush our hearts and spirits. Let us not take it to heart. Let us not, let it not make us sad or make us want to give up or even make us want to leave. Lord God, if it's not in your will, if it is in your will, hey, you'll bless us somewhere else. Sometimes God wants us to move into a new position because favor and promotion comes from God. It could be at a new place. And we thank you, Lord God. We thank you for our land flowing with milk and honey. New wine drops on our life. New things are declared over our life. God said that he declares a future and a hope for us. He doesn't have any bad wishes on us. So no, we don't receive the lies from the enemy or, or even this world. We don't receive those lies over those lies over our life. But God said he's doing a new thing. New thing, new things are declared over our life. We have a future and a hope. New things spring forth in our life. Our presses burst out with new wine. Our youth is renewed like the eagles. Our steps are washed with butter. The rocks pours us out. Rivers of oil, our leaf will not wither. Whatever we do, prosper. Something about God's hand on your life. Sometimes it make people act crazy. And sometimes their demons just really manifest. Because of God's hand over our life. Because of the anointing over our life. We are satisfied with marrow and fatness. We are satisfied with the goodness of God's house. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. Our steps are washed with butter. The rocks pour us out rivers of oil. Our leaf will not wither. And whatever we do prospers. We are satisfied in days of famine, and we delight ourselves in the Lord. He will give us the desires of our heart. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. Father, forgive us of all sins. Lord God, cleanse all demonic infestations in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, in our thought life, spirits that are coming against us, Lord God. Any spirits of divination, witchcraft, any of that, Lord God. Cleanse our whole entire house, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you once we speak life. We bind every spirit in the name of Jesus. And we loose and set free. Hallelujah. Love, peace, soundness, gentleness, self-control, righteousness, holiness, abundance. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Glory to God. Father, we give you praise and honor. We love you. We adore you. May we become stronger in you, Lord God. Wiser in you in all that we do. We thank you, Lord God. We delight ourselves in you. We love spending time with you. We love talking with you. We love walking with you. You are our God. You are our King. We magnify your name, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord God. 
If there's anyone under the sound of my voice who want to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died on the cross for my sin and rose from the dead on the third day. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and come into my life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Everyone know that God loves you so much. Those who are newly saved, those who have already saved. I know many times, <laughs> I have to say this, especially in my younger years, I knew God loved me. I've had so many different experiences here with Him. Even by the time I was 18, 19, I've had so many experiences with Him already. I received Jesus as Lord and Savior when I was seven. And some people say, don't, don't um, um, let these kids receive Jesus so early. Because they know that many times there are some kids who start getting attacked by demons. I was being attacked. I was already, the enemy came so many times trying to even kidnap me. So the enemy come after little children, but children still allow them to receive Jesus early. Allow them to receive Jesus whenever they want. If they have it in their heart, even if they seven and they don't know fully everything, allow them to accept Jesus. Because trust and believe these demons, if they're not attacking your kids, they're attacking them in other ways. If the kids don't even know God yet. And salvation, they're attacking these children's minds. They're telling these kids that they're boys and girls. They're sending all types of confusion around. They're coming after children. And so we must protect our children with the word. We cover them by the blood of Jesus. And allow them to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. And teach them warfare. Even if it's small little things. But to say, say the blood of Jesus. Even if you just teach them to say that. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But I was saying that I knew Jesus loved me. Even with all these experiences. And sometimes it's still... Knowing that God loves you is in your head. And sometimes we might say it's in our hearts. But then there are moments where we feel like, wow, I'm going through this and that. Do God love me? Do God really love me? Do you see what's happening? We have to know in our heart, no matter what is going on, God loves us. I want everyone to know. Literally, there is nothing you can do in this entire world. Even the most vilest, the most evil person, there's nothing people can't do that God doesn't love them because God wants to redeem and restore mankind. There's nothing anyone could do that will make God not love them. So yes, we know this. Now we also should love our Father, our Heavenly Father. And know that He has so much in store for us. Not just in this world, but also in when we... Heaven. Heaven. He said He's going to make a new earth, a new heaven. Everything. And we want to be in the Heavenly Kingdom. God loves us. Just understand as much as possible the depth of his love for you. And know that you are not alone. 
God is rejoicing over all those who received him and became renewed in their spirit. They're born again in their spirit. He's excited. And the angels in heaven, they're rejoicing over your new birth. And the people of God, I'm decreeing and declaring each and every day that we're all walking in unity. The entire body of Christ, that the enemies will not outwit us. And that we will work together as one. Even in when God was, when the, the, the people were disobeying God, when he said to subdue the earth and, and to multiply, to go all over the earth, spread out. But they wanted to build all the way up to heaven. They wanted to be where God was. Mm-hmm. They were doing the wrong thing. They were disobedient. It might seem like, oh, they're doing a good thing. Maybe in their minds, they were doing a good thing. We want to be closer to God even and build this tower all the way up there. And God had to say, no, I told you to spread all over the place. So now I have to change your languages because nothing will stop them because they're on one accord. And they have the same language. I can't even stop them. And I'm God. I can't even stop them. God is saying no one, nothing could stop them because they were on one accord. Even if they thought they were doing the right thing. So can you imagine all of us coming together, doing the right thing in God? Together, all of us in unity. How powerful. No wonder why the enemy keeps making sure we're divided and separated and fighting over nothing. Literally. Because if we actually came together, I believe that for the body of Christ, that we're going to wake up and snap out of this thing. And we're all going to walk in unity. It's already happening. And I'm believing that for the entire body of Christ. Not any what called divisions and denominations and all that. All that's religious. Religious stuff. No, I'm talking about those who are operating in spirit and in truth. I definitely understand there's order. But when it comes down to it, order don't even matter. If we just allow God to have his way. Hallelujah. Even our rules and regulations don't even matter. Let the Holy Spirit, let God have his way. This world could be changed so much if we just let it loose. I'm telling you. Oh, that's what I want to see. Just let it all hang loose. Let God have his way. I know there are sometimes people have structured um, services in church. But there are moments when they say, forget about the program. And the Holy Spirit just rains. And it pours. And then they say, okay, okay, that's enough. Let's get back to the program. Because they, don't, they think in their mind, it's like, okay, some people want to get out. If people want to get out, let them get out. That's what I say. And let the Holy Spirit reign. If it's up to me, we'll be there for hours. I don't care. As long as it's the power of God moving and operating, who cares if it's two, three, four, five hours? Who cares? Let God take everything out. Let his presence fill the room, fill the temple. We got to stop putting a cap on it. That's how I feel. If it was up to me, we would not put a cap on it. But all that, I'm willing it back in, saints of God. (laughs) May we all walk and operate in unity. And may God freely, freely have his way in each and every one of our lives, in our households, in our churches, in the church building. But we are the church, but also in the church buildings. So that people can really be set free and delivered and healed. We thank you, Lord God, for this oneness all over the world it's happening now we believe it we can see it we can imagine it 
We're excited about it. And we thank you, Father. We close this prayer now. Remember, everyone, each and every day, pray, ask God for forgiveness. Say no to the world, the flesh, and the devil. And say yes to Jesus Christ. Those who are newly receiving Jesus, go to a Pentecostal church and and be water baptized. And also ask for prayer for the filling of the Holy Spirit and the evidence of speaking in tongues. I love each and every one of you, but know that God loves you so much more. Until next time, God bless everyone.